Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to yet another Ark Survival Evolved video. Thank you guys for tuning in. You guys are amazing, awesome, and beautiful people. And we got a lot of stuff to get done today. Okay, so last episode, you guys know we started working on the Mantis farm, which now it is complete. It's not perfect. And I do want to work on it a little bit more. Um, and I want to make it better, but it works and it's got the bare bones of the Mantis farm going on with it so if you guys don't know how this mantis farm works and i got i also got a little bit of updates to give you guys but if you guys don't know how to mantis farm works basically you get a female you get a male mantis um you get a bunch of females like two three four whatever males that you want um and then you pretty much set up this little circular i'll make a whole tutorial videos for this but you put up a little circle doohickey just like this and then the babies they drop down into there and that's where the killing machine is and as you can see we got a lot of babies all right, there are a lot. I did not expect uh, there to be this many mantises in there. I hopped on today. I think I went AFK yesterday or something like that, but I hopped on today. I was like, oh my gosh, that's a lot of mantises. Um, but when you do get a bunch of mantises in here, just like this, you pretty much kill them. And I'm using dire wolves to kill them. Now, <clears throat> I will say, I'm extremely confident in uh, the fact that all of these dire wolves are about to die. I recommend you do this with low level mantises because I'm getting level 60s, level 195s up in here. You know what I mean? And I have two dire wolves in there and I'm almost positive they're going to die just from the sheer amount of mantises that are in there. But it must happen. I can't keep those mantises in there. Um, I'll probably just like uh, probably get you guy over here as well to just like help out i guess I, I'm, not, I'm really not sure i'm almost positive that each individual one of these mantises is gonna kill the dire wolves and it's gonna take me about maybe like six or so dire wolves to actually kill all of these guys but we're gonna be setting this guy on um neutral <clears throat> um now when you're making a farm like this is extremely important that everything around your farm is set on passive now these new babies here these are like new babies here these shouldn't be on passive oh they are on passive awesome just make sure you set everything on passive which is um extremely important or else everything inside of your base is going to start running towards that building and it's going to be a pain organizing them again so i'm just going to run around here make sure everything is on passive is extremely 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 important okay now that we've done that and in uh yeah now that we've done that <clears throat> We pretty much come in here and uh, we set this guy to aggressive. I like to use this guy because I don't know why. I just, he's going to die anyways. But we're pretty much going to set him to aggressive and then we're going to run out of here because all the mantises is, uh, man, it sucks. They're probably going to hit the mantises up there as well. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, don't let this guy get overfilled like this. This is bad. This is, this is really, really, really bad. But uh, let's just see what happens. All right, they're howling, <clears throat> and there they go. He killed one. He killed one mantis. One mantis down. Two mantis down. Three mantis down. He's definitely going to die. Four mantis down. Is he? Is he the only one attacking? Oh, he is the only one attacking. Um. Uh oh. Hello. We'll set you to aggressive as well. You're in my face. Um. There we go. There we go. Okay, we're good. We're good. I'm surprised they're not dead yet. What the heck? No way to kill all those mantises. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. He's dead. There's still one in there, though. It might have helped if they both were on aggressive at the start. Because <laughs> he was just getting ganked. There's not a lot of mantises in there now. Um, I want to get to him. But there's just a bunch of mantises in my way. And he died too. Dang. Um, can I get to him through the window? Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I might be able to get to... Uh, maybe just to set him on aggressive and take out the mantises on the outside. Hello. Almost. Hold up. Can I grab your tail? There we go. And aggressive. Just need him to do a little bit of work just a little bit but yeah i definitely recommend you do this with like a team that has high health and high damage i plan to do this with uh my thylacolios 
The bad thing about the Thylacolio, though, it's it's a lot larger than the Direwolf, which is a pain, a big pain because he get, he's too big. He's too big for this trap. So my plan is to just make this trap larger in order to fit him in here, pretty much. What are you doing? Wait, which di? Where's the dire wolf? Is it you? I think it is. Oh my god, there's so many in here. Okay, I need to. I need to turn them off. Oh my, I can't even. Thank you. I need to turn them off so they can stop making so many babies. Um, I think I just could probably just turn off the males. There we go. Now they shouldn't make so many babies. My dire wolf is like just in the wall, which is fine, I guess. I guess we could just easily just take one of these dire wolves over here. They have so much health, which is crazy. Wait, look at that. How much health do you have? Level 217 Mantis. Yes, guys. Um, I recommend you do this with a low-level um, Mantis. Don't do it like me. Don't do high-level Mantises like I did. Uh, it was it was just not smart. It was just not smart at all. I'm going to have to open this door. Just to get through here. The lower Mantis you can, you can find, the better, honestly. But I guess it does help with leveling up your tames. You kill a bunch of mantises. That's one thing. And you get a bunch of organic polymorph, a bunch of shit in. That's the main reason why I made this farm in the first place. Even though I'm just going to drop it all. Here we go. Look at that. 10 levels. Yeah, we're definitely doing it with the Thyla. 6,000 health. My Thyla has 15,000. My Thyla literally has 15,000 health. He's not even like... Uh, I haven't even been taming Thyla. That's just a random... High level Thyla that I found. 15,000 health, which is insane. I've been taming these guys. I've been taming these guys with damage. And, um... Because their damage is... It's 37, 37 melee damage, which is insane. 40 weight as well, which is kind of crazy. Um, not the best. I want to say, like, high, like low 40s is the best. But, like, still, that's not bad, right? And these guys are struggling. Or oh, you're overcumbered. That's why you're doing this. we go last one there we go okay well there you go and that's pretty much um that's pretty much how this farm works you know it's, it's got i have some improvements to make obviously um and it's not completely foolproof and i much rather do this with a thyla do not do it with a saber tooth saber tooths have um low health as you can see and low damage do not do it with a saber tooth at all i know he might seem tempting oh man look saber no it's not worth it it's not worth it do it with a thyla a Thyla, I think, would probably be the best uh, the best dinosaur to do this with. Something small, but high health and high damage, ideally. What? Oh, it's because they're set on aggressive. Oh. And I didn't tame those. Uh, I didn't tame those over there. Okay, well. I don't know. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I don't mind that to be honest um but yeah there you go and uh i'm floating no i'm not okay there you go and now we got a bunch of chitin we got a bunch of uh organic polymer we got so much and i'm probably not gonna even pick any of this up because we have just so much of it i have so much um but yeah other than can i get through okay there we go other than that i spent a little bit of time organizing um i obviously i went to the snow biome tamed up a uh a dire wolf uh, just for this purpose right here, I've been um, I've been breeding them, and I got a pretty much direwolf army. These are all the failed direwolves, by the way, um, throughout the taming process or the the hatching process. Which I'm probably just gonna send these guys to their deaths, honestly. Probably go tell them to fight that level 150 alpha rex. They're all going to die. There's no way they beat that. Um, but yeah, that's what I've been doing. I've been organizing just slightly. Um, I got all the tech parries over here. We're going to be using this for another farm. Pretty much the exact same design except tech parasaurs, which is going to be way better considering the fact that parasaurs don't attack you like the mantises do. So that's going to be good. 
Um, but yeah, these guys are going to be dropping electronics, um, scrap metal, and oil, I believe, which is going to be really good for us. Um, let me get on my griffin, get the area view a little bit. But yeah, that's pretty much what I've been doing. Um, and I also went around and kind of claimed the good dinosaurs. Um, so like, for example, over here, 42 health, 40 melee, 42 health, 40 melee. These are both females, I want to say. If they were a male, that would be insane. But these Rexes are actually really good. Like, 42 inside of the health and 40 melee, like, that's insane for a Rex. That's, like, really good. We just need to find a male Rex to mate them with. Um, and see if we can get ourselves, like, a 42 male or 40, 40 male or something like that. Um, but, yeah, I also did the same with the Parasaurs. The Parasaurs are pretty solid. Um, but that's pretty much about it. Just a bunch of organizing. Now that that's out the way, what are we actually going to get into today? I will tell you. All right, guys. So the plan for today is going to be all of the industrial items uh, within, within. let me see, industrial. All of these. Okay, maybe not all of them because that's a, a lot, especially especially the grinder. That's 2,000 crystal and 30. Like, that's insane. Um, but what I really want to make would be the industrial forge and the industrial grill, which the industrial grill is easy. 40, you know, that's easy. Um, ideally, I would want the cooker because it's pretty much an upgraded grill, right? But the grill, you know, is, I mean, the cooker is a little bit more difficult, um, but I definitely want that forge, which I think is doable. Um, that's what we're going to be working on today. Um, I made myself a few of these guys because I'm assuming we're going to need a lot of space. I've never made these before, so I'm really not sure how much space we would realistically need, right? But um, I'm assuming it's going to be a lot. I could put this here. Huh considering um hmm. but anyways yeah i'm assuming it's going to be a lot i got nine of these left i'm a I, I don't really care about whatever that thing was right there um this should be i mean right um and then we could put some on the back side here i guess I, you know i don't know i think that'll be enough space i think so at least um i think so i'm hoping so um but yeah as far as the metal goes we did do a little bit of metal farming way back when um, so yeah, we got like a few hundred in there, 200 in there. So like we're decent when it comes to metal. I'm pretty sure we're going to have to farm a little bit more metal. I don't think we're all the way decent, of course. Um, but we're not slacking on the metal, which is really, really good. Actually, I'm just going to fire. I don't need to fire you up. Uh, you definitely need to be fired up. I should probably get myself some more spark powder. I've been using spark powder lately instead of wood. I don't know if it's better, but it's, uh, I don't know. I feel like it's easier, easily, easier, more easily accessed. That's, I think that's what I was going for. It only takes flint and stone, which is, which is pretty, pretty, pretty easy. Um, there we go. And then as far as the stone goes, I will probably do a little bit of farming, um, with the magma sore for a little bit more stone. I'm pretty sure I'm running low on stone because you don't have any stone. And the only other location that would have stone would be here, which, yeah, we're definitely going to have to do a little bit more farming on the magma sword, which isn't isn't a problem at all, to be honest. Um, now that I think about it, hmm. Wow, you have 19 levels. Oh, you're by level 25. That's why you have 19 levels. I need my level 150. I need to get me a better Magmasaur as well. Um, this Magmasaur has, like, the stats aren't good. Like, weight-wise, 18 weight, 20 melee. The only thing I care about is the weight in the melee. Because you're, you're just a farmer. You're, gonna be a, you're not going to be damaging, attacking. You know what I mean? Weight in melee is the only thing I care about. Which, he has 21. You know what I mean? I need to get, or at least try to find or get a better Magmasaur. Which, honestly, we might do that today as well. Possibly I could just get wow that happened. I could just get the Rexes like a you know like five of them or so. Um go over to the Magma Sword Cave and see what's there. Which shouldn't take too long. Farm a little bit of stone and metal while that's cooking. I think that might be a play because I definitely want a better Magma Sword. This guy's gonna be our metal farmer forever, right? So the better Magma Sword we get the easier it will be for us to farm metal. So I think that's what we're gonna do real quick. It shouldn't take too long realistically um i think that would be the play and i'm gonna just take you out i don't even know what you oh yeah you're the uh i found this guy uh the other day um so he looks like a tiger so 
figured I'd tame him because he looks like a tiger. But yeah, I'm gonna go to the, the cave entrance of the magma stars and I'll see you guys once I'm there. So we made it over to the uh, the first cave here. Um, and I don't see any magma sores, which I'm assuming they haven't respawned yet, which sucks. Um, I also don't see any eggs in here either. Yeah. Not sure why they're not respawning in here, to be honest. Um, hmm. I do hope they do. I did visit this earlier. And they weren't there when I visited earlier. So I'm really not sure what's happening. I don't know if it's because there's too many dinosaurs in the area and the game is like, no more. We can't spawn anymore or something like that. I'm really not sure. I'm hoping that's not the case, right? Um, but in the case that it is, that sucks. Um, there's also this over here. I don't think I've been this way. Or is this, is this just an, okay, this is just another entrance to the same cave. Okay. I didn't know this was right here. It's actually pretty cool. Um, but I do know where there's another cave, which I've never been in before. So we're going to be tackling that. We're getting ourselves a magma sore egg today or a few at least, right? That's definitely going to be happening. If you guys don't know where the location of this cave is, uh, it's pretty much past all of this. Go across the little the bridge or whatnot. And then you just look to your left. It's generally somewhere in this area. I need stamina. I believe it's right there. I might be wrong on that, but I believe it's right up there. Now, this cave, apparently, I've never been in there before, right? But apparently, it's, like, way crazier. Which, now that I'm saying that, I wish I would have brung, uh, yeah. I wish I would have brung more, uh, Rexus with me. But, yeah, look at this cave. Way crazier, um... It's, I'm definitely not going to go in there with those max stars being in there. So we're going to go ahead and just get the Rexes out. There we go. This one's a little bit on low health, but uh, I think we'll be fine. Got some pretty beefy Rexes here. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So, oh, you're, you're ready to level up. Um, I'm going to give you some uh, damage. But yeah, I th I'm pretty sure we'll be fine. So let's uh, follow everyone or follow all. Let's go. Hopefully they don't run off of the edge. I should have chiropotted them better. Yeah, we're good. Holy, whoa. That happened, okay. That hurts, that hurts. Oh, well, I'm happy it happened because uh, they needed to start attacking anyways. Okay, we're good. Everyone's okay. All right, let's do this, I guess. Take him out, take him out. Level 20. Okay, we're good, we're good. Everyone here? We have five. One, two, three. All right, yeah, everyone's here. All right, let's go. Let's go in here, guys. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Level 20 right there. Take him down. Hurry before they start spitting fireballs at me, please. Oh, they're firing up. Oh! Barely missed them. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Ooh! No, that hurt. Holy crap. Okay, okay. I need to watch out for my health and my uh and my tames. I can't take another fireball like that. I cannot take another fireball like that. It's gonna hurt way too much. I think they're fine in there though by themselves. And they're still oh I thought that one's coming towards me. I wish there was such thing as like a healing potion or whatnot. Level 45, level 50 down. They're all on fire. Taking fireballs straight to the face. Just fine. Wait, is this it? Does it end just like right here? Do I only get one egg? This better be a level 150 egg. Or I'm gonna be mad. Oh my gosh, bro. Level 20? I shouldn't even have picked that up. Shouldn't even have picked that up. Is that literally done? There's no more? Well, that sucks. Well, guys. Oh, wait. What? Didn't I just pick this up? Or were there two here this entire time? Level 150, me. Level 150. Another level 20. That's insane. We got two level 20s. I do not like two level 20s. Just gonna make sure there's nothing left. It doesn't seem like it. Wow, okay. Um, huh. Not happy about that one. I would much rather have 
not level I, I don't even want these things oh wait what oh i picked up a level 130 oh okay uh, interesting i guess there might have been two eggs and, and one we're dropping that one i don't care about the level 20 but we got a level 130 magmasaur egg that's actually not bad i'm happy about that one i'm happy about that one um but yeah that's the second cave location i don't know if there's a third i don't think there's a third there's a, just a random rex what love are you did that say 150 oh well if it is he's gotta die now oh no he was just level 50 okay all right we're gonna take my boys back um we're probably not gonna be able to hatch the magmasaur maybe if i get me some i need to get me some um what do you what do you call those things that you have hatch with yeah i need to give me a few of those so we're gonna be working on that um but yeah i'll see you guys back whenever i get back So I was in the middle of making a bunch of air conditionings because I wanted to hatch the magma sore egg and here I am collecting crystal and while I'm up here I just happened to stumble across this uh Dimetron and uh I don't know if you guys know about the Dimetron but apparently they act as a mobile um incubator so you just set these guys down and if they're next to eggs then it'll incubate the eggs without the need of having an air condition apparently at least that's what i've heard so we're going to be trying this out um he's only level 20 so i'm pretty sure i'm not gonna need that many tranks i only got 22 tranquilizer arrows on me um pretty sure he's not gonna use that many to knock him out um but um hopefully this actually works and he also eats meat which is really easy so far, he's eating four of these guys. Come on, get knocked out already. Oh, you're running from me. He's running from me. Oh, I killed him. Oh. Huh. Wh huh, okay. Well, that definitely sucks. Well, that really sucks. At least I know where they spawn now. It, maybe I can find another one. I'm gonna go after I'm done collecting this crystal. I'm gonna try to find another one because I, I don't know if I was just extremely lucky right there to find one in the first place or they just naturally spawn here. Cause I do want to try one out. I, I always thought those guys spawned inside of the um inside the swamp. That's why I never really even tried to tame one because I didn't feel like going back to the swamp. But now that I know that they can actually spawn in this area, I kind of want to tame one now. We got 15 tranquilizer arrows on us. Um I was hoping that level 20 would do it. I might have to try to find something higher than level 20. Possibly. So it doesn't die when I'm shooting it with my arrows. Or that or I have to use a tranquilizer gun. A lot of dodicaruses here. Which I do love my dodicaruses. But oh my gosh there's a lot of dodicarus. I literally like five dodicaruses. Level 45s, level 60s. Probably a high level one in there somewhere. But I don't need a dodicarus right now. What I need is a Dimatron. If I can find another one. There's no way I just happen to get lucky, right? Because I'm definitely not seeing another one. Maybe I did just get lucky. That is... Wow. I'm so sad that... Well, at least I know, right? At least I know now. That sucks. I wish he wouldn't have died because I really wanted to try that out. It's okay. We're making a bunch of... We're making a bunch of air conditionings anyways. So, I mean... It'll be fine, I suppose. It'll be fine. I forgot I left air conditions up here. I should... I should probably go get those. And I also should probably not carry as much... This on me. We could just drop that. Otherwise, my griffin won't be able to fly. Forgot I had these over here. Should I get the generator as well? I mean, not as well, right? Oh, you're damaged. That's why I left these guys up here because I wasn't able to collect them because they were damaged. That's why I left them up here. All right, let's go back home. That was loud. All right, guys, we're back. Um, and I kind of just realized I, I was doing some things, right? I just realized these guys drop iron. So technically speaking, we don't even need the Magmasaur. Because the whole point of the Magmasaur is to get us metal, which I believe we could still get a lot of metal with him. And we'll still probably use him. But if we had just like 
an amazing parasaur farm, we wouldn't even need to have the Magmasaur because the Parasaur would give us the metal we need, right? And then we could get a cementing paste farm and then boom, we could just make infinite amounts of metal materials because we get the metal from here. We get the, the chitin from here. We would still need stone, but I think for a cementing paste farm, I'm just going to use a snail, but that's a, a long ways down. Right now, we're just working on the metal bits, right? Um, and to be honest... Making a parasol farm might be the play. It might just might be the play. Not right now because I uh, this one still annoys me. I think if I do want to make a parasol farm, I think I'm gonna make it out of metal. I think that's a plan. So what I've been doing is I've this is a lot of parasols. I've just been collecting all of your eggs here, um, every single last one. Um, there is I want to say maybe six or so female parasols in here, all producing eggs. I know it looks ugly. I know it's not perfect. Um, but we're pretty much getting the eggs, putting them over there with all of the air conditionings, and then I'm having my Rex just kill them all. And I'm hoping I could get like an abundant amount of metal with that. I've also been, um, I've also been smelting the metal. Now I could just have a whole line of these guys, like honestly, if I wanted to make it real professional, right? Um, maybe, depending on how much metal we get from this. It's, it's also pretty awesome that, uh, sometimes when you hatch a baby or hatch an egg, you can get twins. I, I found that amazing. But look at that. Look at that. So we got 70, got 100 metal from that. Just, well, we're not even done eating them. Is that 130? 160? So you pretty much got 160 scrap metal just from that alone. And like, just imagine that as an actual farm with a lot of the females, right? And then we still got one, two, three, four, five more eggs to go. So it's not bad. It's not entirely bad. Um, I, I, I do them on the ground here because sometimes they get stuck in the foundations. I don't know why, but it's annoying. Um, but that's why I do them in the ground. If they get stuck in the foundations, I'm not able to actually like eat them or whatever. But 160 scrap metal there. I've uh oh, that's not good. You ran out of oil. I've basically been smelting the scrap here, getting some of that scrap metal ingot. Um, I got my gasoline right here, which I need to turn you back on. And I'm going to use this also for metal uh, uh, smelting. And then I just got some abundant amount of metal there. Because we're going to need a lot of metal. Like, look at that. Look at that. We're ready already. Ready already. I think I'm actually going to make this a little bit better. A little bit more professional. Just line them up where it's easy to get the um, it's easy to get the eggs in or whatnot. I think that might be the play. Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that I th uh, after, after, after I'm done eating these. I like eating these for some reason. And I, I guess it's good, like... It's a good experience for you, maybe? No, probably not. But yeah, and I'm getting oil from this, so I could get some gasoline. It's just a one-on-one situation. The only thing is I'm not getting hide from these guys. Which is a little bit of a bummer. And the fact that their bodies literally go flying is a little bit of a bummer because I have to go walk and collect them. Um, but in a closed environment, I think we'll be fine, right? Realistically, we'll be fine in a closed environment. I did not mean to eat you, but I guess I'll eat you need to hide anyways i thought i saw another body flying but i guess not maybe i ate it too fast or whatnot i'm not sure one thing about the rex though this 700 weight these things whoo it's a lot of weight that is a lot of weight i was actually thinking about having a rex uh be like the killing machine for the mantis farm as well if i make it big enough but i'm not sure not entirely sure. Uh, maybe a Thyla would be a little bit better. Maybe do some research on like what's the best dinosaur for uh, for collecting resources after a, another dinosaur, I guess. I'm just going to put that there and just make it simple. Just like this. But yeah, that's not bad. 400, 500 uh, metal already. I wanted to smelt slower. Or not. Don't know. But yeah, that's not bad at all. I am happy. I am happy. All right, guys, we made it back home. We're back. Um, and I did a little bit of work, as you guys can see. Um, the main thing that I did is I went ahead and crafted a little bit of the industrial items. Uh, I, I crafted a whole bunch of these guys in order to hatch that magma sore egg, which we'll get to that in a minute. However, I went ahead and made the industrial cooker along with the uh, industrial forge here, which has been cooking up a lot of the metal, which is amazing. It's been cooking up a bunch of the metal, which we're going to need for the metal 
uh, house or metal base or, or whatnot. And along with all the other industrial stuff that I have not yet made, like the chemistry and the cooker and the the, um, the grinder, you know, all that stuff. We're going to need all that, which we don't have yet. But uh, this metal is going to definitely come in handy. Also made a refrigerator, which I've been cooking up a lot of meat. And it's going to be in here for a good little minute, which I am super happy about because I am sick and tired of having to use the campfire, which I destroyed the campfire. But I was sick and tired of having to always use the campfire. Um, and I might as well just get rid of these uh, the, the smelters because I got I got this guy now. So realistically, I don't even need the forges anymore because, you know, I, I have I have this guy. Um, but yeah, I went ahead and uh, that's that's pretty much all I've been doing. Um, these 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 guys over here have been a godsend okay i would not have been able to get this much uh, uh, metal without these guys over here which as you can see there's a lot of them over here that i have to have yet to claim because um they're all just going to die to the rexes and that's how i've been getting my oil and that's how i've been getting my scrap ingots is because of these parasaurs here we need to make a legitimate farm just like the one that we have for the mantises just for the parasaurs but i want to make it out of metal um, and we have yet to be able to mass create metal because of cementing paste. Now, there's two ways that I can go about getting the cementing paste. One is easier than the other, and then the other one is a little bit more difficult. I can make a chemistry station, which will give me a discount. Um, let me see here, chemistry station or a chemistry bench, which will give me a discount um, compared to the mortar and pestle. And I want to say that uh, it's it's way better when it comes to actually crafting it. Now, the only thing is to make the cementing paste, we're going to need chitin, which we have a chitin farm, which is perfect. Um, but it also needs stone, which stone is easy to get, but it's a little bit annoying. Um, I was going to use the magma source to get them, but I might as well just use the dodicarus at this point because magma source they don't get a weight discount the stone um and they don't have that much weight as it is but the dodicarus gets a discount to stone which i could just use that walk around with the ankylosaurus a little bit um and be happy um however i kind of i kind of just want to try to get cementing paste the hard way which would be using the snail which in order to get the snail we need these sweet veggie cakes which means we gotta go out there and collect a bunch of vegetables probably get ourselves a greenhouse and do that whole situation however at the end we'll have a cementing paste farm so we'll have infinite cementing paste along with infinite metal which we could just use that to create the house which we're gonna need a lot of metal for that because that house is going to be extremely big right so um i think that's the route that we're going to take but before we do all of that there is a dinosaur out there my friends that i want okay the dinosaur let me get let me get in close let me let me get off my girlfriend let me get in close let's get him the dinosaur that i want why are my eyes green it's weird the dinosaur that i want my friends is called the sino macrops and that's the one that i want so we're gonna go ahead and do that i got a bunch of chitin inside of my inventory um i've never tamed the sino macrops before but it is a passive tame with chitin um and if i will look at the map i have to pretty much go straight in that direction um and it's near the forest biome um at least that's that's what i've been told that it's near the forest biome. so we're gonna be attempting that if i can get a sign on my crops obviously oh what's with that line what the heck obviously it's not gonna be you know as good as flying with the griffin or whatnot but um it has inventory space which is it's pretty much a backpack it's pretty much a backpack that you can fly with right it's overpowered and i really really want one um I feel like it'll also come in handy when dealing with caves and everything like that once we get to that part in our lives uh, which is another reason why i want one but it's just it's just it's super handy pretty much it's super duper handy and oh let me go up whoa the lag a little bit of lag there but it's super duper handy and that's the reason why i want one um i've never tamed one before so this will be a uh, this will be an experience for us for sure um but once we get over there i'm gonna look for one hopefully i can find a high level one and hopefully we won't die because it is the jungle and if the jungle's anything like the redwoods this is going to be bad but hopefully it's not i don't remember having any direct experiences with the jungle so fingers crossed um but yeah once we get there i will check you guys back so we made it to the jungle but uh it's foggy <laughs> it's extremely foggy it's going to be impossible to find a site on mac ups in here unless this what wait i think it's starting to clear up a little bit or maybe my eyes are tripping a little bit, but I think it's starting to clear up. Either way, this is the jungle is very, uh, very thick when it comes to leaves and stuff. It's going to be extremely difficult for us to even find a sign on microps. I don't even know where to even like 
begin to look. I feel like I just need to go on foot and walk around. I mean, I could walk around on my griffin like this, but like, wow. Or maybe I can like view from above. What level are you? 18. Disgusting. Maybe I can view from above. I'm actually not sure. And I don't know how often they spawn. And they're, they're extremely small as well. What was that? It's a raptor? I don't know. Is that a raptor? I don't think it is. I, I this is gonna be difficult. This is gonna be a lot harder than I thought. Um, just because of how dense the forest is, in order to spot a Sino Macrops just in this dense forest is going to be extremely difficult. Um, I mean. Maybe I can go on the edge, like near the water or whatnot, and get lucky. Hopefully. Oh wait, no, no, that's that's not one. I was about to say that's one. No. Um, I wonder if there's a better way of doing this, or do I have to literally just get lucky and find one? Wait. Okay, my eyes must be playing tricks on me. I thought I saw one walking. Ah, uh, I feel like I just need to get off my mount and uh, walk around this place. But then again, at the same time, it's dangerous. There's raptors and everything. I feel safe on my mount. I feel safe on here. I wouldn't feel safe if I wasn't on here. And when nighttime hits... I'm not going to be able to see anything. Wait, what's... Oh, no. Okay, where are we? Okay, maybe we should go a little bit deeper into the jungle this way. I had stumbled across this temple. I don't think I've ever seen this before. Um, I don't know if it's like a dungeon that you can go in. Or if there's like mobs that spawn here. But it looks cool. Looks really cool. I don't see any dinosaurs, at least. Oh, I see Trudons down there. Trudons are scary. I need to make me a weapon, like a shotgun or something at this point. I've, I've been collecting gunpowder like crazy, but I haven't made a weapon yet. I do not feel safe getting off my griffin right now, but I do want to go in here. My griffin seems to be able to make it in here. Doesn't seem too interesting, though. Just like uh, a little abandoned temple. With some nice water and some flowers or whatnot. Next to the swamp with six circles hugging each other or whatnot. And I still cannot find a Sino Macrops. I haven't spotted a single one. Where are we? The only thing I could think of is going deeper into the jungle, but... That's the only thing I could think of. I quite literally haven't seen a single one. Unless I'm in the wrong area. They spawn in the jungle, right? I just can't find one? A lot of bugs. I found bugs. Why can't they spawn as often as bugs? Trudon. Hello. They dead? There we go. Why am I even fighting you guys? I, I could just fly in the air. There's no reason for me to fight you. Okay, we have great news, guys, um, and bad news. Um, the first great news is I went to a different location. Um, and this is like the best spot to tame Sino Minecrafts. They're literally everywhere. I saw level 145. I almost tamed him, kind of ish. I'm still kind of getting used to taming Sino Minecrafts, but as you can see, there's one right there. Um, there's a level 145 somewhere around here, and I need to tame that one before I leave. There's also a few, like, over there, but that's over the water. Um, and I kind of just can't walk on water, but you can see there's one over there, level 90. Um, but I really want that level 145. He just ran away from me, so I really don't know where he's at, but, uh, we're just gonna go a little bit this way. And just see, I'm not, I'm not sure how long they stay scared of you, though. 
That's one issue that I do have. Um, let's see, what level is that one? That's the level 20, it seems. I don't know if he's still scared or not. He looks a little bit scared. I'm not sure, though. You know you'll see one. Well, not really see one. You know you'll have one when you see hearts. Whenever you see hearts above, like, their body or whatever, that's when you know you have a sign on Minecraft that's interested in you. Um, they're just really difficult to spot because they're so small. Let me see. Like, in this general area, I don't think there are any. I'm also not sure where they went, though. <laughs> Might be... Oh, there's one. Oh, no! Did I scare him? I don't know if I scared him. I'm gonna get down here. Okay, so you see the hearts just like that. And he got scared. I think he got scared because of the Stegosaurus. What level was that one, though? I think I lost. Wait, no. Yeah, I lost him. But you, you saw that, right? So they get hearts in them and then they kind of just walk up towards you. Um, and then after that, I haven't figured out the rest because they always run away from me whenever that happens. But it seems that they get scared from all the dinosaurs in the area as well. So things like the Titan Boa or the Stegosaurus believe that i might have to actually just take them out because i don't want them to get scared oh there's a lot of them near that waterfall holy crap whoops that happened all right back it up back it up back it up i want to take out this stego there's a lot of them near that waterfall i think there's like three or so how much health do you guys think this dude has There we go. All right. So I don't see any dinosaurs near that waterfall. So we're just going to get a little close like that. Just going to walk. Hopefully that... Hopefully he doesn't come over here. Um, but... Level are you? Level... Okay, so that one's a level 90. Level 15. Level 25, I think. They kind of just fly everywhere. I want to tame a lot of them. I got a plenty of chitin on me, so. I really want that level 145 I saw earlier. I have no clue where he's at, though. Level 95. Level 95 isn't bad. Maybe I get a little bit closer. They're all just flying above me right now, which is crazy. I don't know if I'm close enough. Wait, is are you landing? No, you're not. Okay. I don't know if I'm close enough. Oh, wait. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We got one. We got one. And walk up to him. Feed chitin. There we go. We saint. We came one. You are level 22. I've never used this guy before. It seems like... Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it, PD. So... It's pretty cool. How do you glide? Oh, so you press C to... Oh, wow. You actually glide pretty fast. Wow. Okay. Awesome. So we got one, but we're definitely going to need a better one. Um, not sure how to access its inventory, though. How do you access... Yeah, I've got no idea how to access its inventory. Um... Yep, got no idea. And I think I just scared this one. But we definitely need a higher level than level 20. That's for sure. Lower are you? Oh, you're fast. I think that's level 50. Or something like that. You do have a dip. Where are you going? Are you attacking someone? I got arrows on me, right? I might as well take you out because uh, I don't need you scaring anything for me, so. There we go. Oh, 
Hello. Holy crap. Oh, you're eating him. Level 95. Thought I was getting attacked for a second. Maybe I should go on that side. I don't know if they get scared because of the Segasaurus or not. Considering it. Because no, they're not coming towards me anymore. Get a little bit closer towards this edge here. Come here. I have chitin. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Level 50. Go down and tame. Awesome. So now we got a level 75, uh, 74. It's better than this one. I got no idea how to take this guy off of me, though. Um, I need to figure that out. Okay, so we're back, and I pretty much figured it out. Um, so, pr so whenever you, like, let's say this guy, right? I pick you up. To take him off, it's the same button you use to, like, get on a mount, right? You just double tap that, and it, it takes them off, pretty much. Um, and then to access their inventory, if I put you back on my shoulder, to access their inventory, um, you have to hold down R for a really long time. And then you can access the inventory just like that, which is... Pretty awesome, I'll be honest. Pretty awesome. Um, but that's pretty much how you do it in a nutshell. Um, so yeah, we need to get ourselves an even higher level. Because that one was a level 90, I want to say. I promise you guys... That one looks beautiful. But I promise you guys I've seen... Oh, wait, no, that's... Okay, I promise you guys I've seen a level 145. Level 15. I don't think it's over here, though. Doesn't look like it's over here. Kind of want to check on the other side of this riverbed. Level 85. Which, honestly, I could just check on my side on my crops. I don't even have to get on my griffin. Which is awesome. Love are you. Hey, where'd you go? Okay, maybe it's better for me to land while I'm doing this. It's hard to, like, balance, I guess. Man, this is... Woo. Look like a level 20. It's a level 85. I wonder if they ever land. Or do they just always fly? Level 15. I feel like they might just always fly. Never land unless, like, you're trying to tame them. Wait, what was that? Level 85. Level 20. Wait, was that 135 or no? Oh, no, that was you. Okay. Hello, bugs. Level 60. Stegel's falling for some reason. Oh my gosh, that was a level 145. Okay, we're just going to... I'm going to unclaim you. Because I really just don't need you. If I'm being completely honest. I don't need a level 22 sign on Minecrafts. Sorry. I don't like you following me. I could just tell you not follow me, but... You, you belong here, okay? With your peoples. Level 90... Ooh, level 60, level 20, level 90, level 20, level 60. I promise I, I just saw him. Level 20. Promise you I just saw him. Wait, is that it? Level, no, 150, that's level 15. Level 90, come on. Oh, hello. I don't need you. You're level 20. I can fly out the water. That's really cool. Wow, look how many there are right there. I don't want to fly straight through there, though, because I feel like... I feel like they'll run away from me. Level 90. 15. 25. 20. A lot of low level. Wait. That's the 145. So we have we have to go over there. 
That's a level 145. Oh no, oh no. We ran out of stamina. Oh. Okay, get your stamina back. I think this is how you get your stamina back. Or maybe do you need to eat chitin? You probably need to eat chitin. Yeah. I don't want you guys. I'm sorry, you're level, you're low levels. You're low levels, you're so adorable and so cute, but you're low levels. Sorry. It must be done. Okay, let's just go over here and we sit. I have no clue where the 145 went, but I'm hoping he's in this general area still. Is that one? 15? You're not a, you are a sign of my crops. 25. So he's definitely not over here. Yeah. There's a lot of them over there though. Man, okay. Well, 90. Where's the 145? He's just over here. One fifty, holy! Hello. I'll feed you. It's because you're level ninety, but stop following me. We need that one fifty. We need that one fifty. Is that it? No. <sighs> there it is. That's the. We need that one fifty. We need that one fifty. We're not leaving here unless we get the one fifty. It's mandatory. What level were you? Oh, yeah, you can run away from me. It's mandatory. We need that 150. All we got to do is come right over here. Land. And sit. And then 150. Come to us. All right. Right, right, right. Come on. Must. No, what do you mean? Must be outside the team. Are you serious? This is considered inside? That's. You're crazy. I don't want you level 20. Um, you're crazy. That's insane. I had him. I had him. Now he's ran from me and I don't know where he went. Level 100. I don't want a 55. I'll take the level 100 though. I'll take the level 100. No guys, 20, 20, 55. No, you're adorable and I want to feed you, but I don't want to tame you. I'd, I'd feed you if, if you know, it, it didn't count as taming. Sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's go! Oh, no, he's not auto-be tamed. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. It's fine that he's not auto-be tamed. Sorry, guys. He's gonna get the attention. You're not. I'm sorry. It's okay that he's not auto-be tamed. It's fine. It's fine. He's gonna come back. He's he's kissing the wall. You know, doing what Sino Macrops do best. Kissing the wall. You know what I mean? Which is fine. We might have to go over there and kiss it with him. Depending on where he goes now. Yeah, I think we should go over there. Let's go over there. Wait, are you coming back over here? No. I just realized we didn't have a sign of Macross on us. I don't know where our level 100 went. Alright, that's fine. They can kiss the wall. I, I believe they're scared of me, but fine you're not going anywhere especially you you're not going anywhere there's the 145 
Hello, let's go. 145 coming at us. I'm gonna wait till they both drop. Oh, that's a level 100. Okay, okay, okay. Go, nice. Nice. Oh, that was, no, you were the level 100. You were the level 100. You just leveled up to 140. Nine. Nice, okay. On a 150, we need you now. And a 145. Get a little bit closer to him, because I don't think he's scared of me. Unless he is. I really don't know. 145 went somewhere over here. Is that you? Yeah, the 145 is not scared of us. Am I not close enough? I've got to be close enough right now. I don't know. Maybe we have to leave and come back. Not entirely sure. I just know that, like, their torpidity goes down or whatever. You can track both of them. He's all the way over there. So we feed him one more time. He's ours. We're 30 meters away. Okay. I do want to try taming this 145. Because he's far enough away from us where he's not scared of us. Or is it a she? She's not scared of us. Let's see here. Unless she just comes over here. Naturally. Possibly? I don't know. He... I kind of want to try taming him again. Just a little bit. Getting further. A little bit closer. Oh, here we go. A little closer. Come on. A little closer. Oh. I got you, but I don't want you. I love are you. Depending on your level. Four oh yeah, I want you. I want you. I want you. I take that back. There we go. Nice. Alright, I got you on my radar now. Beautiful. Oh. <gasps> He came to me. Hey, buddy. Let's go. Heck yeah. Let's go. Get you off my shoulder and disclaim you because I don't want you anymore. And we're going to pick you up because you're awesome. Now we have a male. I still want a female just for breeding purposes. Just for breeding purposes. Hey, little man. Behavior. Let's, uh, let's unclaim you. Actually, well... Yeah, let's unclaim you. Actually, let me see these stats. 24 health, 30 weight with 24 melee. Interesting. 30 weight with 24 melee. What about you? Four. Uh, okay, 36. 36 weight. So the only thing that matters is stamina and weight. So you got 36 weight, 37 stamina. He got a lot of food and melee, though, but that doesn't matter. 36 weight, 37 stamina. What about you? Oh, yeah, you're, you're just low. Yeah, we're just gonna... Just gonna unclaim you. You can, you can be back there with your peeps in the wilderness or whatnot. We're gonna keep you, though. We're definitely gonna keep you. So now we just gotta tame the other ones. Let's... Let's go tame this one over here. Uh oh Dang it. Scared him. We got too close. Okay. That's fine. We'll just go over here and uh, tame this one. Can't get too close, though. I want to say we have to be on the ground. Actually, maybe not. Maybe we could just be right here. Okay, let's see. 57 meters away. Slightly getting closer? Not really. Oh, 
All right. You're not scared of me, right? No, you're not. No, you're just chilling. Yeah, you're just chilling. Okay, you're just chilling. Can't chill over there with you, so you're gonna have to come over here. Here we go. I don't know if you just got scared or not. No, you didn't. Okay. Over here? Police? Police? Pretty police? Not you. Not you. Not you. I want that one. Go away. Shoo. 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 I want that one. No, not that one. I want that one. 145. I don't know if they can see me over here, but I definitely can't go over there to see them. Right? Are they fighting them? No, don't tell me. No, they're fighting. Oh, they killed him. Wow. I was not expecting that to go down like that. I, I was expecting them to all die to that centipede for some reason. But he got hit. Now my taming effectiveness is low. All right, whatever. <laughs> we'll come back. We'll come back. We'll come back. I want to check this one out. We'll come back, though, for sure. This is so cool. You actually glide really fast. Surprising. Oh. I don't know what that was about. Okay, let's... Get over here. Unless we should go over there. Okay. Where are you going? I frightened you just from that? That's insane. What? Okay, I don't know what just hit you. Or me, rather. Okay, we got this. Go away, um, Stegos. This is my moment to shine. I think. I wonder if I can still tame that level 145, though. Is that you? No. Not sure where he went, but it'd be cool. I wish there was like a land over there because there's nothing but rocks. There's a level 145 though. And he went behind a rock. They're just hugging that rock. If I could like go over there, that would be nice. We're waiting. Just want to check and see if there's any high levels over here. Doesn't seem like it, though. See, they're just chilling on the rock. But if I go over there, he's going to get startled. Oh, is he making his way over here? He is, I think. Kind of? Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. This is it, this is it. It's gonna land right there in the water. It's gonna walk up to me and I'm gonna walk up. No! Oh my god, I got so scared. He jumped over that rock and I thought he was flying away. Awesome though. Awesome, 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 awesome. So you are level 209. Let's see what stats. 38 weight, 32 stamina. 
Interesting. Interesting. Still want more of you, though. Still want more of you. Um. Let's see here. I'm going to cryopod you. Because there's another female that's high level that I also want. Which is her. No, it's not. Last time I seen her, she went behind the rocks. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check behind the rocks. Is that her? Yes, that is. Okay, what if we go up here? Okay. I really want to tame her just to, just so we can have some options. I really want to tame her. I think I should go over there though now. Honestly, yeah. All right. And you just took a sh yeah, okay. There's no way you don't come down here. There's no way. Hold up. I, I'm going to tame him real quick. Her? I think. I'll catch you guys back when I am. Or do. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hopefully. They'll, oh. They're very smart. And E. Or E. E. Why isn't it working? Are you not hungry? Maybe she's not hungry. I'm assuming it's because she's not hungry. And that's why I can't feed her right now. Oh, that sucks. I wonder how I wonder how long she'll stay here. Right when I was about to tame her too. She's just, I, I just don't think she's hungry right now. She's at 2150 out of 28, but I'm not sure like where she needs to be, you know? Not sure where she needs to be for that. Um, but I'm, I'm hoping that I can just keep her here until she's hungry and feed her. At least that's the plan. Guys, I just saw this. Look at that. Must be outside the tame. <sighs> I don't want to move. Because if I move, I fear that the... He'll run away, or she'll run away. Hi. Um, maybe I could just go a little bit over. I'm trying to see if I can get away from under this rock. It's not looking like it. I end up falling if I do. But apparently this is not considered the outside. Apparently. It's unfortunate. Ah, um, I'm just going to have to hop down, I believe. And like, she's going to have to run away from me. I wonder if she'll follow me. Or maybe she's not outside. I'm, even if I, yeah, I think that's what it is. I think it's because she's not outside. But she's not going to follow me, is she? Nope. Not unless she gets frightened, it seems. I'm going to have to frighten her. Make her run away and then come follow me again. Yeah. That's that's so sucky. Yeah, I don't think she's frightened anymore. But that sucks. So you have to have like you have to be careful. Where you actually go in order to tame one of these. Or else it'll just be considered not the outside. Which, uh, in my opinion, blows. Personally. 
So now I have to wait again for her to come back up here. If she comes back up. I don't even know if she's going to come up here. Will she? Go a little bit lower. Oh, okay. Well, pretty sure this is as low as I can go now. Unless I go over there where the Steggles are. I just want to see if she'll come to me, though. Oh, wait. Ish. Wait, no, she's not. She's not. But she's close. Here we go. No. What just happened? That was weird. Okay, we got her. Oh, I'm so glad they go back to you and don't get frightened when they fall down like that. That's crazy. Awesome, though. Awesome, awesome. What are your stats? We're looking at 41 weight. That's actually... Oh, my God. 41 weight. And 44 stamina. This is the ideal sign of Macrops. The ideal. Obviously, more numbers will be better. But in the 40s, is not bad. In the 40s, is not bad. Especially for stamina. Let's go. This is the ideal sign of Macrops. We got ourselves a juicy sign of Macrops. I'm going to Chiropod you real quick. And we got a long way to get home with the Griffin, but uh, that is freaking awesome. I'm gonna go back home, set all these guys down, um, and I will catch you guys back once uh, once we're done. All right, guys. So I went ahead and made it back home, and uh, this is the stats that we have. So we have three side of Mac cards. We got two females and one male. The female over here is the best female that we have, the level 217, because she has 41 weight with 44 stamina, which is insane. Okay, 44 stamina. I just want to say that. It's awesome. 28 health. I mean, food. Yay. But yeah, 44 stamina in and uh, 41 weight, which is absolutely amazing. And then we also have this female here, which has 42 melee damage, which is kind of nutty as well. Everything else sucks, but 42 melee damage isn't bad. And then our male over here is pretty much just food, like 43 food. That's he likes to eat a lot. That's pretty much all he's, you know, he likes to eat a lot. What I think I'm going to do, actually, though, is I think I'm going to hatch this female with this male and then hopefully i can get a male with the female stats and then we could just have like a backup 44 41 weight uh cyanomicrops on us because i don't want to use this one and then she dies and then we're just out of a good cyanomicrops like that would be really bad as far as this female goes we don't really need her as too much i mean we don't really use melee damage on a cyanomicrops there's pretty much no point in using melee damage on a Sino Macrops because, I mean, it's it's a Sino Macrops. They're not going to be attacking anything, right? Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. She does look awesome, though. I love their orange. Is that orange or red? I love the red. That one's black and white. That one's black and white. I love her colors. I might just hatch all of them. I might hatch this female with this male um, and then try to get a male with this female stats of the 44 and then the 41 weight. And then hatch that with this side on Macrops to try to get the 42 melee. So then we'll just have 40, 40, and 40 for melee weight and then stamina. Just to have, like, the ideal side of Macrops. That's going to take a lot of hatching. Um, but, I don't know. It might be worth it. Um, it might be worth it. But that's really about it uh, for this episode, guys. Thank you for going on this adventure with me of getting ourselves a side on Macrops for the very first time in our ARC adventures. This was awesome. Um, I appreciate you guys watching. You guys have a great morning, evening, and afternoon. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. Peace.